In this lesson, let's go ahead and store discussions into the database and display the results on the single discussions page. So to get started, we are going to go to the create.blade.php for discussions. And then I'm going to make sure that this method is post. And then the second thing I want to do is I want to implement the tricks editor right away for the contents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to tricks editor, search for tricks editor. We've implemented this before. So I'm just going to hurry over it. And then I want to search for CDN so that we're just going to get the CDN assets, open up cdnjs.com, and then I'll copy the CSS value right there. And then come to my view and then since I want this to only be available on this page, I'm going to create two sections, one called CSS and then end section and I'm going to paste a link to this CSS file and then I'm also going to have a, a section for scripts. So add section, maybe called JS and section. So I'll copy the URL to the tricks.js and then here I'm going to have script where the source is equal to this. And what we want to do is go to our app.blade.php, which is our layouts file and yield CSS right here. And also we want to yield scripts right here. So yield scripts or it's actually called JS. That's the name of the section right here. Okay, so if we come to this view, refresh and view the page source, you can see we have the tricks CSS right here and we have the tricks JavaScript. Awesome. Now the next step is in the tricks documentation right here. So what we want to do is copy this, which is the input and the tricks editor directive, and then go into our form right here and replace with our text area like this. Okay, so the input name has to be content because this is what we will be receiving on the back end. And then tricks editor will pass in the input as content. And that's all we need to do. Okay, so remember the name is content right here because we are sending that to the server and to the tricks editor we pass input content. So if we refresh this page, you can see our tricks editor is active. But if you notice something, the toolbars are still not working and that's because of the way Lavo by default loads the assets. Let me show you in our app.blade.php right here, you can see that the script is loaded and deferred at the top, but this doesn't work well with most packages I've worked with. So what I always do is I always delete the defer and then I always copy this script and put it where it belongs, which is down here. Okay. So if I refresh this page and check this out, it looks like it's working again. Awesome. So the tricks editor is back on track. All right. So now that we have our tricks editor for the content, so the user can specify, you know, exactly what content they want, we are going to take care of this form on the backend. So we're going to come to our discussions controller. And then in our store method, we need to inject a custom request so that we have validation rules. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a request and this is going to be create discussions request or create discussion request since we're creating one and I'll go to the create discussion request and what I want to do is make sure that I pass some validation rules like the title is required and I also have the content required and I also have the channel required. And what this is going to do is make sure that this value is valid. The data coming into the server is valid before we actually permit the transaction here. I'm just going to add true. And what I could do for authorization is to make sure the user is authenticated, but that's authentication. So I'm going to add a middleware to my controller and that's going to fix that. Okay. In this case, we don't have any authorization issues. So I'm going to create a constructor because remember we can validate using middleware from our routes file or from our constructor. So I'm going to say public function construct 
and I'm just gonna say this middleware auth and I'm just gonna say this should only be on the routes create and store which means the other routes can be accessed by users who are not authenticated okay and we're gonna talk more about this because we want all users to be able to see a conversation whether they are locked in or not right so in the create we just return this view and in the store what we're gonna do is we're first of all going to inject the right request so create discussion request so that the validation rules kick in okay so you can see it's auto used at the top for me and then what we want to do is we want to say discussion which is the model and I'm gonna use that create and we'll pass in the details of the discussion like the title which is going to be request title and then the content which is going to be request content and the channel ID and this is going to be request channel but one more thing that is really important is the creator of this discussion which means we can either pass the user ID right here so that we know the creator or we can do something as elegant as this we can do auth user create and this is going to create a discussion for we can do something like auth user then we'll call a relationship called discussions create okay and the discussions relationship is a relationship uh, has many so a user can have many discussions but we don't yet have this discussion relationship so we'll go to our user.php scroll right down to the bottom and add it so public function discussions and we're gonna say return this has many discussion class like that which means right now we can say auth user discussions create and then we can return redirect and would we'll redirect to a route called discussion dot index and probably maybe we want to flash something to the session so session flash and this is going to be a success key that says discussion posted okay now we can go to this endpoint for displaying all discussions and return a view called discussions dot index and we are going to return a list of discussions so the second argument we can pass to the view function is the data we want to share with the view okay so i'm showing you all the different alternatives so that when you see a new code base you're gonna know that oh this is what this is for in this case if you see a second argument into the view function it means they're sharing data to the view so in this case we simply want discussion and then we'll paginate and get five records at a time so we want only five records per page for the discussions okay so if we go to our discussions we need to add the index dot late dot php so i'm just going to copy everything in my home and paste it right there and what's going to happen is right here we're going to have add discussion at the top which is fine and then we want to loop through each and every discussion and then have a cut so we're gonna say for each discussions as discussion then we're gonna say and for each and I'll just paste that right there awesome so if we come to our application maybe we should just change the title of this to you know something that is more suited for the discussion so I'm gonna say discussion title and here I'm just gonna say discussion content and remember since it's from the tricks editor it's gonna come as HTML so we want to change this to exclamation marks like that okay so let's try this out first I'm gonna open up my Lipsum website so we have some lorem ipsum content and then I'm gonna come right here copy this section paste it right there in my tricks editor copy this as the title and paste it right there 
select a category or channel and then create discussion and we have an error that says a field slug doesn't have a default value for the discussions table which means we haven't provided the slug right now i'm gonna show you a really cool way to do this but for this lesson only i'm gonna come right here and here i'm gonna add the slug field so i'm gonna say slug is going to be string slug of request title so if we come right now refresh and submit this request again we are redirected back to the page for viewing all discussions and you can see we have the title right here and we have the discussion details right there awesome which means that we can see or view a list of all discussions one thing we want to add is the pagination links okay so we don't forget so right here we have a card what we're gonna add right here is discussions links okay so we don't forget now that we can see a list of all conversations the next step is to be able to reply to those conversations and you know suggest answers to the questions in the next lesson we're gonna start taking care of this